What was it like? First week doing media, first week in Blue Pigeons, play, playing the game? It was awesome, was yeah. Um, just the fans, you know, atmosphere. That was a ton of fun being out there. Actually hearing some cheers and stuff like that. So I just found, I found myself trying to find my parents most of the time, but never quite found them. But uh, yeah, it was a ton of fun. Are they from Utah and made yeah, the trip? Yeah, so my, I'm lucky enough to have my parents come out for every game this year. Dang. Yeah, so it was nice having my wife up there in the stands, stuff like that, support. So it was cool. So your parents are coming here, but is this game for you? kind of a home game as close as you'll get yeah yeah this year it'll be as close as i can get so i got a lot of family going to this one and i'm excited to kind of get over there back into the uh dry not humidity air so yeah more of a home game for me you're telling us it won't feel 105 at kickoff is that what you're telling <laughs> hey, us shoot, you know what heat is heat but humidity is a whole different ball game so yeah it'll feel good how'd you feel about your first game i thought it was i mean i, I try to hold myself to a really high standard and I thought it was a good game. Obviously, there's things to improve on. So, you know, it's trying to ride that escalator up from here. I thought it was good, though. What were some of the positives that stood out for you from for yourself and uh, as a defense as a whole? Um, I would say just how it was finally – it was good to be able to actually go against a different team, fly around, see everybody compete. I mean, that was the most fun for me. I, watching back on film, I didn't realize how celebratory I was of everybody <laughs> else. But I was like, yeah, that's, that's awesome. You know, it's just a whole – like a family, and it really does feel like that out there. How much, how would you compare the feeling of preparing and playing here versus what it was a year ago for you? Um, I mean, football, the football part is the football part. Like, that'll take care of itself. I think uh, I had great coaches at Utah Tech, and I think great coaches here. I think it's just more eyes here, more uh, opportunities at this level. So, whereas, like, Utah Tech, we had one coach who was really watching us, critiquing everything. I mean, we got three guys who are watching every footstep you take, and it's really just – boosting everybody's play to a whole different level, which is a ton of, is great for me and great for everybody else. Not to divulge too stuff. much, of course, what would you learn? You guys had your first film day today, right? Yeah. What would you learn from that that maybe you, you wouldn't have learned it at Utah Tech? Um, I think the biggest takeaway for me from film today that wouldn't have slid very well at Utah Tech is just harping on like the little things mostly where you like at uh, where I was at was more just like effort and then here it was effort and then do it right so I think that was the biggest takeaway for me. What was the experience like in the stadium? It was it was just a ton of fun I remember I, I was talking to some of the dudes on the sideline like oh my gosh there's a lot of people here running out of the tunnel I actually almost tripped out of the tunnel so glad I didn't but yeah it was just a ton of fun it was loud the walk was awesome so I love Stillwater I love the community and it was a ton of fun to see everybody come out how do you feel like the rotation you know we talked about Gundy earlier about it you know were, a lot of guys played this week you know mm -hmm. yourself there's several plays where y'all kind of used that uh the play clock and you know the substitution stuff how do you feel like you kind of held up in this defense with the rotation and everything I think I thought it was great I didn't feel my person I personally didn't feel myself getting gassed ever and I thought the rotation was great I think we got a few uh, penalties on them yeah. from uh, late subs which is awesome our coaches like take care of that and we were trained with that so I think it was awesome and I love the rotation so keep going you know you're, you're rolling this formation the 3d5 you know other guys have said you're, you're just told to go you're supposed to just go yes. get the quarterback is that something that you enjoy is that something that I do enjoy that yeah I mean there's nothing better than you know you have no responsibility except for very minor things you know so I think that's awesome for me and awesome for this defense gets the linebackers free and, yeah, and, and take people, hits. Yeah, and people won't understand, you may not have a lot of stats like in the stat book. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But if you're doing what they want you to do, you're affecting the defense. In fact, what I heard a coach say today was, hey, we're, we grade him on how the linebackers play. Exactly. Yeah, and I think I hold myself to that same standard. I tell those boys in there all the time, like, hey, if I'm taking a double and a triple team and you guys are taking – Hits in the backfield, you know, if you guys' stats are that good. Maybe get me some donuts on a Monday morning, and I'm good with whatever, you know. So, yeah, it's definitely team-oriented on defense. I heard a story. What other sports have you played? So, uh, believe it or not, coming out of high school, I was 245. So, I played uh, football, basketball, track, and then I dabbled in tennis. So, yeah, my senior year, uh, if we didn't have COVID, you might have seen me in the state final. So. <laughs> <laughs> How did you do the doubles? Doubles, yeah. It was fun. What did your doubles partner weigh? Um, shoot, I don't know. He, he was definitely the better half. I was just kind of the intimidator factor, you know. <laughs> so, yeah. How did you end up here? What kind of take us through that story? Um, so, 
I was over there at Utah Tech, and then uh, my D-line coach, he was going down to uh, Texas Southern, and then he got in contact with Benny, and the rest wrote itself, so I'm glad I'm here. Whenever you get in contact with, with Oklahoma State, what's kind of going through your mind? I was shocked. I, I was bowling with my family, and uh, my old D-line coach, he texted me, hey, Oklahoma State's going to call you in a bit, and I was like, no way. <laughs> so it was just kind of surreal, and I mean, exciting so i can't believe it's already been eight months since i've been here it just has been flying by you mentioned the fan base earlier you kind of a mythical figure among the fan base <laughs> has that been cool to see on twitter and stuff there's a, a group of people that are very big just Kirkland. Fans. yes yeah i mean it's kind of it's hard for me to process just because i came from like there was not a lot of media you know and so now i go on twitter and i see these things and i'm like this is just crazy so i'm just glad i'm just glad the fans you know like me support me and i just want to ball out for you guys so Yes. You would kind of